Hello friend, in this video lecture, I'm going to prove that cos alpha, cos 2 alpha, 3 alpha, 4 alpha, 5 alpha, 6 alpha equal to minus 1 by 16. Here given is alpha equal to pi by 3. So let's see the answer. So here alpha equal to pi by 3 or we can write 180 by 3 or we can write here 60. So here write given. So alpha value is now 60. Now taking the LHS of the question. So here cos alpha, cos 2 alpha, cos 3 alpha, cos 4 alpha, cos 5 alpha, cos 6 alpha. Now putting the value of alpha. So here cos uh, 60 cos 2 into 60 120 cos 180 cos 240 cos 300 cos 360 now here after the next is two important formula we need to remember cos 90 plus theta equal to minus sine theta and uh, cos 180 plus not 180 required cos 360 plus theta equal to sine sorry cos theta only so these two formula are essential to solve this question so cos 60 value that i already know 1 by 2 cos 120 we can write we can write 90 plus 30 cos 180 we can write 90 plus 90 cos 240 we can write 360 minus 120 cos 300 we can write 360 minus 60 and cos 360 we can write 360 plus 0 now here after 1 by 2 cos 90 plus 30 that come minus sine 30 now here cos 90 plus 90 we can write minus sine 90 and cos 90 cos 360 360 uh, minus 120 we can write cos 120 and this one we can write cos 60 and this one we can write cos 0 so this 2 minus multiply minus into minus that become plus so here 1 by 2 sin 30 value is 1 by 2 sin 90 is 1 cos 120 90 plus 30 okay 90 plus 30 and cos 60 value is 1 by 2 cos 0 value is 1 now if i multiply this all so it become 1 by 8 and here cos 90 plus 30 that become minus sine 30 here after 1 by 8 minus or uh, sine 30 value is now that become 1 by 2 so if i multiply minus 1 by 60 that come so this is our answer here minus 160 we need to get that so we can write lhs equal to rhs that's proof So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.